Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed of a from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. Life to be governed by the word of God. Obtain light. Don't walk in darkness. Don't speak in ignorance. Make sure you have a biblical perspective to everything. And from that perspective, you act. Number three, the third instruction God gave me. Are we, are we receiving tonight? Watch and pray. Watch and pray. The third prophetic instruction that I received from the Lord. Watch and and pray matthew 26 41 please give it to us matthew 26 and verse 41 jesus was speaking to the disciples he said watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation it says the spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak i'll not say so much here because i have a teaching on this very um word watch and pray watch is a function of intelligence in other words do not throw your intelligence watch and pray you will need the faculty of your mind as well as the spiritual advantage to resist temptation in this time don't just pray blindly watch and pray watch means you will make use of your mind your mental development will add to your stability, your preservation, and your security. Then he says pray. He didn't say pray and watch. There is a role. Your mind must understand certain things, and then you can gain higher perspectives from the Spirit. For many people, we are praying and throwing away our minds. That's why even what we receive from the realm of the Spirit cannot be converted to a context that blesses us. Spirituality does not ignore the place of intelligence. Please hear me. I teach on over dependence of the mind, not dependence of the mind. The mind is a useful tool as far as the manifestation of the life of God is concerned. Are we together now? In fact, the Bible says receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your soul. watch and pray ezekiel 22 and verse 30 a popular scripture here i sought for a man watch and pray can i tell you sincerely i know that we're going through a very difficult phase across the nations particularly in nigeria we just finished our election there's another set coming believers we must pray we must pray like never before the prayer ministry of prophetic intercession we need intercession rising from the north the south east and the west discussing issues have never really solved them it may start the process but there are things that we must settle from the realm of the spirit for anything that brings glory to god to be made manifest we must pray i sought for a man to stand in the gap we must pray pray for the soul of our nation pray for the politicians pray for i i gave you a prophetic instruction here i'm not going back there i told you three uh groups remember remember the prophetic word i gave you here i said there are three groups we must pray for and i'm still saying it again one INEC, two law enforcement agencies but three and most important the judicial the judiciary especially the supreme court i will leave it there but you should know that i don't speak as a fool hallelujah when pray for these three entities with all your heart i repeat one INEC, two law enforcement agents that means uh, uh, police military dss three pray for our entire judiciary election tribunals but especially the Supreme Court are we together prophesy to someone say watch and pray watch and pray the person had the watch part say pray 
pray. I believe in the ministry of prayer. Please do not downplay and ignore prayer. When I say prayer, I always like to qualify it. Prophetic intercession. There is a place where you pray for yourself, I have taught you. But right now, we need to move past the realm of self-centeredness. And for God's sake, make our spiritual contributions to pray for our lives, for our nation, for Africa, for businesses, for the program of God. Third prophetic instruction for the Issachar generation, watch and pray. Watch and pray. Number four, this one surprised me because you'll be surprised to know that this fourth one came very early this morning very very early this morning that's when this came john chapter 3 and verse 31 the lord spoke to me and said tell my people to reject a victim mentality i didn't understand what that meant i mean i'm looking for serious issues what is victim mentality again listen carefully tell my people to reject a victim mentality and this was the scripture he gave me i woke up with this scripture he that cometh from above is above all all what that's the question all what all what when the bible says all anything lower than god is that all he that cometh from above is above all he that is of the earth is earthly and speaketh of the earth he that cometh from heaven is above all listen there is a victim mentality that believers have and the lord used a figure in the bible and i had to study him the man daniel one of the graces god is releasing upon the body of christ is the that mantle that was upon daniel daniel was a man who from scripture he reigned through the dispensation of four different kings and nobody could push out his relevance listen carefully number one was nebuchadnezzar number two was belshazzar is that true number three was darius number four was cyrus four kings and he reigned through the four dispensations and nobody could throw him out of relevance. Now, I'm not just speaking in terms of politics and all of that, but do you know there are many believers today who clamor and pray, even as touching politics, governor, house members, it is not because they really desire a glorious nation. It is because we have educated ourselves through a victim mentality that if I have my person or someone who can advocate my personal interest, I stand a chance to be happy, whether for the next four years or the next eight years. Let me tell you what the Bible says. It says, woe to him that puts his strength in a man. Daniel is that one man that came, even though a Jew, he came to Babylon, Daniel 1 and verse 8. One determination that Daniel made, that Daniel proposed in his heart, that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat. Because of that decision, I can begin to show you all the things that happened to Daniel. When you read chapter 5 and verse 10, when they were drinking with the vessels of, that they brought from the temple, the wife of King, Be I think that should be Belshazzar now. She began to make all kinds of noise and she called and said, there is trouble here. Oh. And verse 12, they brought Daniel and they said, there is a man who has an excellent spirit and knowledge and understanding in interpreting of dreams and so on and so forth. Let's go down to verse 28. We'll read to 30 and stop at 30 for sake of time. He was interpreting the handwriting on the wall. Mene, mene. It says, thy kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and the Persians. 29. And commanded Belshazzar and they clothed Daniel. They clothed Daniel with a scarlet 
and all of those things happen look at what happened in verse 30 the bible says that night was belshazzar the king slain 31 the last verse says and darius the median took the kingdom he prophesied oh king you have been weighed and you have been found wanting the bible says that night the king was slain and when darius came if somebody prophesied and somebody died and you come it will be stupid for you to throw that person away let me tell you the truth depending i'm saying this responsibly depending on any businessman politician uh what they call it captain of industry to magically change your life because of the sympathy and affiliation of bloodline and the rest you are already practicing idolatry not knowing are you getting what i'm saying now believe me when i tell you this god uses men but please hear me believers and hear the word of the lord i am telling you take away a victim mentality you come from above and whether you are in russia you are in america you are in nigeria you are in the north south east and west provided you are in the will of god the bible says thanks be to god which causes us always to triumph shout i can never be a victim let the devil hear you i can never be a victim Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.